All right, so we have a mixture problem here where we're going to be mixing, uh, what do we have here? We have a 10% solution, and we're going to mix that with pure alcohol, um, and we need to get to this 630 milligrams, milliliters, excuse me, of a 30% solution. All right, so the things that we're mis mixing here are uh, the 10% solution, and then we have this pure alcohol, which is a 100% solution. And the goal is a 30% solution. All right, so then the rates for those, 10% um, is just 0.10. 100% is just 1, or you can think of that as 1.00. Um, and then the rate for 30% is 0 0.30. Okay, and then what are we looking for? We're looking for, um, okay, we want... 630 milliliters of the final mixture. We don't know how much of the 10% and 100% we're going to use, so we'll use variables to define those. So we're going to say X in this case is the 10% solution and Y is the 100% solution. And then as always, uh, what we do is we multiply the rate here times the quantity to get this amount column. And so in this first case, 10% uh, or 0 0.10 times x is just 0 0.10x. Uh, 1 times y is really just 1y or y. And then here I need to calculate uh, what is 30% of 630. I'll use my handy dandy calculator here. So let's see here we got 30% uh, times 630. It gives 189, so 189. Okay, and so these are our two equations right here. Um, we always, um, it, when we're setting these up, we add these quantity columns together, and then these amounts, in this case, it's tracking the amount of pure alcohol. So real quick, just on that, I wanna make a, just a quick statement is, so when we, uh, in this final mixture, we have a 30% solution, um, so it's 30% alcohol, and we have 630 milliliters of that. What this 189 means is that in that mixture, there's 189 milliliters of pure alcohol. The rest would be water because it's a solution. Interestingly, then, if you look at here, what this right here means, the Y means 100% of that that you're using is contributing alcohol. And this top one says only 10% of what you're adding from that 10 percent mix is actually pure alcohol but so our equations in this case are the x plus y or the amount of the 10 percent plus the amount of the pure alcohol we use has to get us to this 630 milliliters altogether and then 10 percent of that first solution that we use is alcohol all of the second solution is alcohol and that has to get us to our 189 milliliters of pure alcohol in the final mix so that's the system of equations that you would need to solve to answer this problem.